So let's dive into to our proven formula for getting ranked in the in the three pack, right? This is kind of what we do on a very consistent basis that works very, very well. I can literally show you one by one hundreds of plumbing and HVAC companies in markets all throughout the United States that are ranking in the top three results for their most important keywords. And it's a function of this relatively basic three-step process. The first is to make sure that you've claimed and fully optimized your Google My Business listing. And I'm gonna kind of walk you through that process a little bit. Some things you wanna look at, them, some things you wanna verify, and some things you wanna do on a consistent basis to make sure that you've got a really well honed in Google My Business listing. The second is to, to really build up your citations. Make sure that there's lots of web references of your company's name, address, phone number, and that it's very consistently referenced all across the web. I'm gonna share some of the tools, some of the resources um, that we've found that help to facilitate that process and make sure that that consistent listing, it's consistent information is being properly managed across the, the web. And then the third is building online reviews and having a strategy to get real reviews from your true customers in your real service area on a very consistent basis. And then the, the fourth pillar, like kind of the, 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 the finishing component is the on-page optimization. It's the things that you can do on your website to tell Google, yep, this is really where you're based. This is really the services that you provide and just kind of substantiate the full circle that everything you're saying is legit and that you are the quality company that should be showing up in the in the three pack because at the at the end of the day what google really wants what what google really wants is to give their searchers a good a good experience like their money regardless of all of the different things they roll out is made by people searching on google and to the extent people still consider google the number one place to get the information that they need the correct contractors the correct everything um they're going to continue to be in the money and be one of the most successful profitable companies in the entire world and so if you can help google have confidence that when that customer looks for a plumber hvac contractor um ac repair company water heater company trenchless sewer company in their area if you can help google feel confident that you're the right company and that their algorithm is serving that up they win and you win and that's what this process is really all about uh, really making sure that that information is fleshed out and that it, you know you're really helping Google serve their their end consumer. So I'm going to pull up a Google My Business dashboard. Uh, some of you guys have seen this, some of you haven't, but it's important. Um, regardless, I think if you're doing it yourself or if you have a third party involved that you know what your Google My Business login is so that you can get in and double check it, right? So I would always try and reach out to my provider and say, hey, you know, I'd like access to my Google My Business listing. And for us, it's complete transparency. Everything we do for our clients is we're doing it on your behalf. So when we update your Google My Business listing, when we set up a Google AdWords campaign, um, when we claim citations, we're doing that on your behalf. So we're happy to share that information. There are other companies that, you know, they, they kind of block you out of that. They won't even give you access to your Google My Business account. They won't give you access to your uh, local service ads account. They won't show you what's happening with the pay-per-click campaign. You don't know how much spend is going where. Really important that you have access to the stuff that's yours and that you have transferability regardless of if you're with this guy, that guy, or anybody else. Your number one lead source in your plumbing or HVAC company um, is, is the internet. And so you have to have control of these assets, right? So that, that's my main point here. Make sure you have access to your my, Google My Business uh, listings. Uh, Chad says, that's when you run away from them, right? The, if a company's telling you they're not gonna give you access to your stuff, that's a massive red flag. You wanna pay close attention. Uh, and so when you get in, you're gonna wanna look and see, you know, does my company name read my company name? So is it Valley Plumbing and Drains or is it some extra stuff added to the listing? If so, that you wanna pay close attention to um, obviously, make sure that you've got your website on there. Um, use a local number instead of an 800 number in your Google My Business listing. So if you're if you're looking at your profile and you're seeing an 800 number, I'm finding 99% of the time um, it's going to be the local phone numbers that rank well in Google Maps. So always use a local number. Um, if you're using a PO box or a UPS store address. 
Um, you, you might as well just not bother, right? Make sure that you got a real physical location that's unique to you. Um, you know, upload photos, build personality. You know, there's two thoughts on this, right? In your Google My Business, you can upload pictures, right? Yes, you can upload, you know, a picture of your logo and a picture of a stock image just for the sake of saying you've got pictures. I, I always believe where you can auth put authenticity and personality into your profile, that's going to go better. So get a picture of the people in the company. Get a picture of the trucks. Get a picture of the office. Get a picture of the, the authentic reality of your business. It's not just going to help with your Google My Business rankings, but it's also going to help with conversion because people want to do business with people they know, like, and trust. Well, I hope you got value from that video. If you'd like more ideas, strategies, and techniques on how to really more effectively market your plumbing or HVAC business online, I'd like to invite you to go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Uh, there we've outlined the ultimate online marketing checklist for plumbing and HVAC contractors to, to really maximize your lead flow online. This really simplifies the entire online marketing equation into a checklist that you can easily identify what you should do next and what you could do to really probably double, triple, or even 10x the number of leads you're getting for your plumbing or HVAC business online. So you can get that completely free of charge, simple one-page checklist with a video that explains and kind of walks you through it. Just go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Talk to you soon.